All right, folks, here it is, the uh, humanitarian daily ration uh, from the United States. Food gift from the people of the United States of America. This bag contains one day's complete food requirements for one person. And then there's a, some more information right there. Probably a different language. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, yeah, let's uh, open this up and take a look at this. I never had one of these uh, kits before. Well, I had something from Mike Favio, but I, I gave it to Megan instead, so I never got to open it. My daughter. Let's look at some uh, crackers type. Oh, yeah, crackers. Two packs of crackers. And this is uh, lentil stew. Uh, strawberry toaster pastry and here he has some strawberry jam and here we have a, a fig bar there's some information we'll look at the oh this is for the lentil stew so you can pause and read that if you'd like uh, and there's some peanut butter and here's your pack that has some fresh wipes, a napkin, a spoon, probably salt and pepper in here, and all some matches right there. Well, I'll open that up, take a look at that. And then here we have uh, beans with tomato sauce, so it's another meal. This is a human. Humanitarian daily ration. So I'll show you how to eat some stuff and whatever. And this is shortbread cookie. And then this is the uh, beans and rice with tomato sauce. Cool. I never uh, never had one of these before. So we'll have to um, cook some of the stuff up. I think heat these up. You can probably put them in my canteen cup and boil some water around there. Or eat it cold. So yeah. Because I don't have a, a heater thing for those I don't know lentil stew we'll have to try one of these some of these so, all right we'll get back to you all right we're gonna try one of these flat that humanitarian daily ration we're gonna try some of this stuff probably get one of these uh, meals let's try this uh, lentil stew and I'll get the firebox all set up and we'll we'll boil some water and stick it in the, my canteen cup. I just put some uh, charcoal briquettes in there and get those going in and I'll put some water in the canteen cup and heat up this lentil stew. See how that tastes and while that's heating up we'll have some this other stuff we got. Uh, toaster pastry, fig bar. We got oh yes, fig bar. Those crackers. We'll say some of this other stuff for uh, another video. We can do beans and with tomato sauce. That'd probably be good. Let's see what else we got.
peanut butter and jelly. There's the jelly, strawberry jelly. And we got the peanut butter. This is the uh, shortbread, shortbread cookie. So I'll save that for another, another day. Let me go on a hike or something. We'll save this fig bar for another day. And one of these crackers we'll save. I don't know when these are made. I didn't see a date on on them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause and look and see what's up with these. I have no idea when it was uh, made, but this has a bunch of dates and stuff on I me. Mean, you could pause and figure that out. I have no idea. But we're going to eat it anyways. So, yeah. Let's see. It has a stamp date on it. Something. Or a number. Let's open that up and then we'll try that while that's heating up. Oh, it's just a pop tart. So it is. I've seen some of these other videos and people made it, and it was uh, a different kind of pop tart, not the. So this is just regular pop tart, well, without the stuff on the frosting. It's good. It's all broke up, but it's all broke up, but it's still good. I've seen some other videos and there the pop tart looked like it was um generically looking. It didn't have it didn't show the pop tart brand. So it was probably a generic one maybe or who knows. But still good. I don't know when the, these were made, so whatever. At least you can survive a little food, huh? Let me get that water on. That way it'll take a while to heat up. Put that on here like that. Got that handle guard over there. And we'll just drop that in the water and squish this down. So most of it will be in the, in the water. We'll put a little bit more in there. And then we'll come back to that when that's done heating up. Here's that other pack that stuff in there. Most of the stuff you can see in there, but we'll just open it up and use it. Got our uh, spoon, it can go down in there deep. That's what she said. Some salt and pepper, some sugar, uh, crushed red pepper. Moist towelette, some matches. We could use these, put that in a kit. Save those for later. I'll just finish eating this Pop Tart and then. While that's heating up, then we'll have that peanut butter too, probably. Well. 
these uh these uh humanitarian rations it doesn't come with a drink or anything but uh i just have my coffee but i got my water and my uh heavy cover titanium kit or canteen i got some water in there still and i can drink that the water from that heating up i should have brought some coffee out with me and i could put it in there when it's done but already got some coffee in the, my little coffee mug right here so I'm prepared but I could use that water for for coffee if the next time I'll, I do it I'll have coffee water or tea or whatever this way for this thing to, to heat up and then uh, maybe if finish that pop tart I might have these later on for a snack later today. So we'll see. Can't go wrong with the pop tart. You you know what you could even uh, before you got that boiling or when it's done cooking, then you could. Uh, Lay this on your your stove and heat it up a little bit if you wanted to. I was going to do that, but I already started eating it. So this is the second one. But that other meal, I think I'm gonna um, maybe hold off till a Canteen Cup Tuesday or something. Maybe I'm using the Canteen Cup now, but this is going to be. its own video I guess I don't know but yeah this is this is a lot of food for what's well, all day food so it'll last I was thinking about using this fork I got from Mark to eat with it or that spoon either one at least with that spoon I can dig it all up I guess why well, I, I still can with this too but maybe I'll just use this I can save that spoon for something else I like their uh, long though because you can use these for the longer meals like mountain house meals and, and things like that because the longer handle so it's kind of nice to have you can keep this I had made a wooden spoon was about like that long before. I give one to uh, Brandon and Mike Fabio got one. Well, his was bigger, but and I had made some sports before. I have to done do another video, carving video, I guess. But uh, yeah, so we'll just wait for this thing to to boil up and then or heat up and then we'll see it. We'll see see how it's doing right now. It's just heating up down there. It takes a while because the charcoal's got to finish going, but those will last a long time. Well, I don't know how long it takes. It's a, the water's hot. It'll take a while for that to heat up. This is it's hot enough for coffee, but it'll take a while to, to heat that whole thing up. So. We'll just keep waiting. Well, it's probably hot enough now. I had taken it, flipped it, and I shoved it all back down the other, uh, other end. That we could heat up the other side. Uh, you know what I mean? So, we'll, it's probably hot enough now, so we'll take it out and we'll try it out. It's, more, it's all pliable, so. I'm going to shove it down. Like that. I never had no lentil stew before. Check that out. Lentils are like beans, I guess. I never, I never had lentils. I don't think. 
That's what's, oh, there's some beans in there too. Look at that. Smells like smells good. Tastes good too. Tastes like a. You ever have that Campbell's um, ham and bean soup? It kind of tastes like that. And then this has uh, the lentils in there. This is really good. You throw some uh, spam in there if you're, you want to add some meat. I'll have to look on that paper and see what it says on there about what's in here. It's good though. Uh, the has good flavor in it. Plus the beans and lentils are a protein. So keep you alive for the day. And some of this other stuff, I'll just um, save for another day when I'm out hiking or whatever, we'll eat it. It's just too much for me to eat in one sitting, you know what I mean? Plus I already ate earlier. This is pretty good. I like it. it has good flavor. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching my uh, humanitarian daily ration video. And uh, I'm going to finish eating this and kick back outside out here. Enjoy the day. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, catch you on the next one.